Lesson 13, setting up Discord for in-game chat. Of all the popular instant messengers, only one is specially designed for gamers, Discord. It offers text and voice chat, everything for game streaming, a mode which lets you open in-game chat windows and a bunch of other goodies. It's not short of security and privacy settings either, which we'll look at now. First off, you need a strong password and two-factor authentication. The 2FA key is sent via an authenticator app, Google Authenticator or Authy. After activating it, you can and should link the account to your phone and download the backup codes. Finding two-factor authentication is easy. You just need to open the account tab in your settings. Now that the account is protected, let's go to the privacy settings. Discord is unique in that these settings are different for each server. By default, gamers on the same server can exchange private messages. But if the server is public, spammers, scammers, and trolls can also come knocking. So on a public server, it's best to block direct messages from strangers in the privacy settings. And you'll be able to continue chatting with your comrades in arms and add them as friends. If blocking DMs isn't your style, go to privacy and safety in the user settings and check the option to scan messages for explicit media content, so that at least you won't be bombarded with obscene language. There, you can also select who can add you as a friend. Here, it's better to limit yourself to the friends of friends option, and then perhaps think about server members. The everyone option is too visible. You can also block individual users, but this is done in personal chats with them, not in the account settings. Other users can see whether you are on or offline in Discord. If you don't want people to know your status, switch to invisible mode. That way you will appear offline to everyone. To do this in your PC version of Discord, click the profile icon next to your username and select invisible. While on the mobile app, there's a separate tab for setting your status. In the connection section in the settings, you can connect Discord to Twitch, YouTube, Steam, and other accounts. This is quite handy. For example, it lets you create a Discord server only for your followers or YouTube sponsors, for example. However, integrating accounts involves transferring data from one service to another, which means that in the event of a successful attack, cyber criminals will gain access not only to your Discord data, but also information sent or received from other platforms. So undo connections when you are done with them. And when setting up new ones, check what information the services can access. If there's no information about this, steer clear. Like anything popular, Discord attracts wrongdoers. In 2019, for example, researchers discovered a piece of malware that turned the Discord app for Windows into a tool for stealing information. A reliable antivirus protects against this, which is one more reason to never disable it. That's all about Discord, and since we already touched on the topic of streaming, the next and final lesson will cover setting up the popular streaming platform, Twitch.